Yaho, 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 and welcome back to my channel, YouTube. I am Super Yankee. So good to have you here. Right now, this is your daily, not as daily as usual, <laughs> coronavirus update. I've been fighting the coronavirus over here in Spain, so it's taking me some time to got to get back on track. But let's look at the numbers, all right? So. 276,474 cases worldwide, 11,417 deaths, 91,954 recovered. Now, I think what's interesting is that active cases and closed cases are what make this big number over here. So in active cases around the world right now, what do we have? We have 173,103 currently infected patients. And if you look between mild and serious, you'll see generally how people are dealing with this virus. I think I had the coronavirus. I mean, it's much more lethal in the elderly people. But in terms of a younger generation, it it's an interesting cold. It's not common. It's pretty novel. It's pretty dangerous because of the transmissibility. And I would urge all of you young people out there watching this video to take this seriously because it's not about you. You're not doing this for yourself. You're doing this for the elderly people you interact with, your parents, your grandparents. Start thinking about them. Please, guys, please, please, please. Start thinking about anyone but yourself here because that's why this virus is so deadly and that's why you have to take it seriously. All right, let's look at some of the country numbers. China is still lying, but I, I heard that they're probably going to get it under control soon because they've had their people on lockdown for a couple of months now. So maybe, maybe they're not lying too bad. I don't know. Well, we could never know. But anyway, Italy, 47,000 cases. Ridiculous numbers. It's on the track to be just like China. Spain, 21,000 cases crazy stuff. Germany, 19,000 cases. USA, 19,000 cases. Iran, 19,000 cases. France, 12,000 cases. South Korea, I'm not sure if their numbers are accurate, but I'd like to know what South Korea did. I, I remember reading that South Korea deployed 70,000 test kits early on in this pandemic, and that stymied off a lot of the transmissibility for the virus. And Norway, I can't go there anymore. My flight was canceled, man. That means I can't see Ludifico and Tanati in concert, which is a shame, but it's okay. So I don't even know how many countries now have the coronavirus. I know that every country in Europe has the coronavirus, but oh, it's gonna travel. It's gonna travel. There's nothing we can really do about it. Anyway, what I wanted to show you today was this, this article talking about lockdown because lockdown is coming now i've been in lockdown for about a week now but in europe countries have been on lockdown for maybe a little longer i think and in america it's coming it's coming with full metal alchemist lockdown is coming sorry america a full lockdown is coming let's read this article by Laura garrett march 18th 2020 a few days ago i shared wine cheese in camaraderie with a small group of close friends, and sadly, after five excellent bottles of Chate de Rhone wine, I'm not a wine person, we said goodbye to one another, knowing we shall not share company for many weeks, perhaps months. Perhaps months. Yesterday, my dearest neighbors knocked on the door, carts loaded with suitcases and boxes in tow to wish me well for the duration of the great pandemic. We air hugged, and I sadly watched them trump off to their packed vehicles abandoning New York City for the country home. As they wandered off, I said, see you in September, I hope, or whenever things are normal again. For some countries, Italy, South Korea, and Singapore, for example, the moment of decision and personal preparation has long since passed, and many and millions of people are stuck in place, watching the epidemic unfold. On the eve of St. Patrick's Day, the mayor of San Francisco ordered her, her entire population to shelter in place for a few weeks. The window of opportunity to relocate has closed for residents of the Bay Area. So this is a long article, but I would just like you to know that 
this is a very, very, very serious time to be alive. And what I can say about this is it's coming and, and you have to be prepared not for the physical aspect physical ramifications i mean hopefully you've already prepared for that prepare more now for the mental stuff the mental ramifications of being locked in your house because i really do feel that it's going to have a shift in your mentality we talked about this in the other video that we we're making today i'm gonna start making multiple videos every day because i have all this time i have all this energy i have all these positive thoughts and i want to give them to you because this is the time where we need to come together more than ever before we need to come together as a community of people who believe in the future and are not scared of the past and be positive lots of things are going to change and they've already changed for me which is why i'm able to talk about this so level-headedly it's because I've been through it for like a week and I went through the emotional roller coaster of going through panic and sadness and negativity and happiness and positivity and ambivalence. I've been everywhere, man. I've gone like all over the place. And I want you guys to know that you're not alone. You're not alone. I mean, you tend to think of yourself as alone. You tend to make it out about you, but it's not about you. This is a world thing. And lockdowns are coming expect them to hit all of america next week i guarantee it and if i'm wrong then it's the week after that it's like people have already started realizing waking up a little bit but they're about to get smacked in the face you know what i mean like a cold bucket of water is about to be thrown in their face because people are waking up so slowly to the reality that's happening around the world that um yeah they're about to throw that bucket of water in your face but you don't have to get the bucket of water in your face you can choose to get up and get out before the bucket drops on the bed all right guys so just all right ladies and gentlemen so just take it easy <clears throat> start preparing for this mentally and start thinking about environmental cues that's what we talked about in the other video anyway youtube that's the video for today thanks for watching Subscribe to the channel if you're new, or if you're not new. If you're still watching these videos, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. Maybe we can do it. Maybe we can do it. Leave a comment. Love responding to those comments of kinky energy and positivity. Share the video with your friends. We need to share the video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. Uh, but most importantly, just keep coming back because we need to be together in these times where social, distan social distancing is the norm, all right? I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.